Hey you guys, if you're clicking on this video, then you are either the new proud owner of a Fuji X-T4, or maybe you're a working pro like myself, and you just want to customize your buttons to easily work with you on the job. Here comes the Locust. How are they so loud? Uh, let me go into the camera and show you the three things you should do when you first start your camera. Actually, the AI in my Fuji X-T4, I call him Fuji. How you think we're doing, Fuj? Like Han Solo and Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fuj, what's the uh, first thing that you would do? The first thing I would do is turn off the shoot without card feature. If you are a working photographer, then disable this feature immediately. This is actually really, really a big deal. Because if you don't have a card in your camera, and that feature is turned on, then that means that you can take a picture, the cache, the memory, the RAM, in the uh, computer of your camera will show you the preview of what you just photographed, but it won't write to the card Because there is no card in the camera So if you're working and you're taking a shot and you're looking at the little back of the camera real quick You take a shot look at the back of the camera. You think you're saving those images, but you're not So imagine being on the job Yeah, it's it's happened once I was able to Quickly remember that, oh my lord, I did not have a card in the camera. Let's go shoot that again real quick. Um, so, yes, feature number one, turn off, shoot without card. Hey, Fuji, what's number two? Press and hold the display button until you see the custom button menu options. The second thing I would do is custom set the small button next to the shutter button to be eyes on or eyes off for focus. This way you can easily work fast and quickly change the focus on the eyes when needed. Yeah, this is actually a really big deal because when you're working a job, you don't want to have to go flipping through a menu system on your camera for some of the the actions that you do a lot, you know? And when I'm working on jobs, I'm constantly, when I'm focusing, turning off the find the eyes feature because um, when there's a lot of people, it roams around too much in the scene. So having that only be the square or the zone or wherever I choose to focus on is a big deal. So my finger's on a shutter button and all I gotta do is right next to it is a little button, eyes on, eyes off, work quick. Fuj, what's number three? The third thing I would do is customize the screen to swipe left or right. We have it set to swipe right for exposure preview. If we swipe to the left, it is for the self-timer. Okay, so one thing I love about my Fuji X-T4 is how I can customize uh, many of the buttons, but also how you can swipe up, down, left, or right. And you can make your own um, presets to whatever is good for what you normally do. For me, when I swipe to the right, that turns my preview of the exposure on or off. And what I, the reason why it's a big deal for me is because when you're outside, I like it on. So that way the f-stop and the shutter that I'm changing, the exposure is true, okay? But when I'm inside and I'm working with flash and it's on, a lot of times my flash is very bright, so my f-stop is stopping down. So the ambient of the room, um, is not there, it wants to be very dark on the back of the screen. Well, I have it set to when I swipe to the right, it turns the preview exposure off. That way it just shows me the room in the screen. It's not a black screen. So when I'm back to shooting natural light, I'll turn it back on, and that way what I'm seeing on the back of my screen is true exposure to what I'm getting. That's just one of my things that um, I do a lot. So here's a little baby bonus for you. Okay, you ever flip on your selfie mode to take a, take a picture, take a self-timer picture, you know what I'm saying? Did you know that when you go to your, your, your dial up front from your, your, um, your drive, from single to continuous low to continuous high, did you know that if it was on CL for continuous low, meaning when you squeeze a trigger, it's going to go jick, 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 but this, the continuous low, if you have the self-timer on, with the continuous low set, and you self-time it, to, 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 yeah, it'll take five pictures on selfie mode. How cool is that?
Okay, well I hope that helps you with your customizations on your buttons. Um, even if it's not the three things that you would want on there, at least now you know how to customize those buttons and how to customize your uh, swipe ability of your screen. I thought that was the coolest thing ever when I saw that. In fact, I programmed so many darn buttons I forgot what they all did <laughs> in the beginning. So uh, when I got my X-T4 from my X-T3, um, I didn't program every single button. I literally just programmed like, like three or five uh, things because your go-to everyday scenarios become repetitious. And this uh, feature that I just taught you will help you not lose your mind trying to get through the menu system and find these things. Just program them to be easy. Um, so anyway, I'm glad you're here. Stay focused on your dreams and I will see you in the next video. All right, you guys? I came from Later. the There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Catch me howling at the moon When the sun rises, when the sun